All right, now we're going to extend the concept of factorials by introducing two new concepts called permutations and combinations. So we say there are NPR permutations of size R that may be selected from among N choices without replacement when order matters. Now the key, order matters, and also without replacement. Now also notice that N and R, okay, N has to be, in most all cases, N is larger than R, okay? So if, let's say for instance, you were finding a permutation and you used an N value that was smaller than your R value, you will end up with a result of zero. So, but the main point here is for permutations, you're making a selection from in choices where order matters and is without replacement. And we're gonna contrast that with combinations. We say that there are N C R combinations of size R that may be selected from among N choices. Now that looks just like permutation. The only different difference is that order doesn't matter, okay? So definitions are similar, but the only thing that's, that distinguishes a permutation from a combination is that in a combination, order doesn't matter. So if you look at the formula, the formula will be different because it's taken into account that order doesn't matter. So let's, let's look at a quick example. Now suppose we've got a Senate the Senate United States Senate Appropriation Com Committee consists of 29 members and you want to choose or select members to serve on a subcommittee that has 19 members okay disregard party affiliation or any special seats how many different 19 member subcommittees may be chosen from among the 29 sen senators on the appropriations committee so the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves does order matter which means are we arranging these senates senators in the particular seats and the answer is no and since order doesn't matter, we're going to do a combination or use a combination formula. And again, most calculators, scientific calculators, have these functionalities built in. You just have to search, do a Google search for your particular calculator and put in combination or permutation, and it will show the keystrokes. So in this particular case, I've got... 29 senators, it's a combination, and I want to choose 19 members, okay? So the formula that I use, now if you want to use a formula, let's go back real quick so you can see that formula. We can still use the formula and end up with the same result, but using technology is a lot faster, okay? So the formula said it'll be 29 factorial over 29 minus 19 factorial times 19 factorial. Okay, that's the formula that you would use. Or you could just use your technology. All right, using technology, I type this into my calculator. So 29, most calculators will have a key that says NCR you put 19 objects and you end up with 20 million 30,000 10 different subcommittee options so that's how you use a combination and a permutation but the key is if they said arrangement matter you would just change that NCR to an NPR.